Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am going to teach you mathematics. Ok students, so in the last class we have completed the exercise number 1.2, alright. So today we will be starting a new exercise of chapter number 1 that is exercise number 1.3 that indicates multiplication of integers, alright students. So today we will be doing the introductory part of this exercise that is how can we multiply different different integers, alright students. So the multiplication of integer, the first part, when you are multiplying a positive integer and a negative integer, okay, multiplication of a positive integer and a negative integer, alright. So here you can see if you have a positive integer and if you have a negative integer, this have positive sign and this has negative sign, alright students and in this, this is an integer which is having of negative sign, okay. And this is the integer having positive sign, alright. What the product will be having? The sign, okay. So, you can also do it like A into B minus, okay. There is that product is having negative sign, alright students. So, this is the property. Let us discuss about that, okay. So, if I am taking A is equals to 1 and B is equals to minus 2, for example, okay. Then, if I am going to multiply these two, alright. 1 multiply minus 2, the answer will be 2, of course 1 multiply is equal, 1 multiply 2 is equal to 2, but the answer will contain, the product will contain a negative sign. So students in the multiplication of integers, it does not matter whether your sign is on the left side, on the right side, whether the sign is on the larger number or the smaller number. If you have 1 negative and 1 positive in multiplication students, then the product will always be having a negative sign, alright students. So, if a multiply minus b is equals to suppose minus 2 and if I am taking it like the opposite that is a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to 2, minus 1 multiplied 2 is equals to that is a into b, right, minus 2, alright students. So, the answer is the same now in both the cases does not matter whether I am taking a is equals to 1 or minus 1 or b is equals to minus 2 or b is equals to 2, alright students. So, this is this particular thing and also you can do it like a into b, a into b means 1 into 2, right, the negative sign. You can also have that negative sign outside the bracket, right, because the resultant will be having minus 2, alright students. So, this was all about the multiplication of two integers when you are multiplying a positive integer and a negative integer together. What will happen? The product will be having a negative sign, okay, a negative integer, alright students. So, this was all about first part, okay. So, let us see the second part. Second part says multiplication of two negative integers, alright students you just keep one particular thing in your mind. In the multiplication of integer minus plus, okay, if one thing is having minus sign, another thing is having positive sign. In multiplication students, the answer will be negative. If this is positive, multiply by negative is equals to negative sign, okay. Plus integer is multiplied with plus integer, like positive integer is multiplied with positive integer. The answer will be having a positive integer, alright students. If the product of two negative integers, the product will be having positive sign, okay. Because minus minus is equals to plus, plus minus is equals to minus, minus plus is equals to minus and plus plus is equals to plus, alright students. You can also do it like minus a plus b, that is equals to minus a b, okay. This is fourth part. Second, a multiply minus b is equals to minus a b. Second part, third part, a multiply b is equals to a b plus part, okay. And fourth, if you have minus a multiply, if you have minus b, then it is equals to a b because minus and minus, minus are cancelling out each other, all right students. So, in this multiplication of two negative integer is minus a multiply that of minus b is equals to a multiply b, okay. It is like that. 
if a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to minus 2 ok students then a multiply b is equals to minus 1 into minus 2 all right minus minus will cancel out each other ok and the answer will be having 2 with a positive sign that means that if an integer is negative and the another integer is also negative the answer the product will be having a positive integer a multiply b that is having a positive sign all right students so this was all about the first two parts so let's see the next part this is when you are multiplying three or more negative integers product of three or more negative integers what is written over here students if you are considering the product of any type of integer if you are taking two negative integer then minus minus equals to plus right we have discussed it in the second part if you are considering three negatives like minus a multiply minus b multiply minus c it's like that only it is like that only a into b into c minus 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 the answer will be having a b c firstly the multiplication right minus minus is plus minus minus is plus and plus minus is students minus that is that we have discussed in part a okay so it will be having a negative sign also if i am considering minus a into minus b minus c into minus d the answer will be a b c d right the multiplication and the sign minus minus is plus minus minus is plus and plus plus is plus all right students so the answer will be also containing a positive sign all right students just look here okay what it indicates then when you are multiplying the integer then if you are multiplying odd number of negative integer the product will be having a negative sign and if you are multiplying the negative integers that is the even negative integers even number of negative integers then the product will be having a positive sign how the number of integers negative multiplied 1 2 and 3 right 1 2 and 3 that is odd okay if the number of integers negative integer we are taking is 3 that is odd the product will be having a negative sign okay you can easily clearly have a look here okay and if we are considering the number of negative integers multiplied as even number of time like 1 2 3 and 4 4 is even number right so when you are multiplying even number of negative integers then the product will be positive all right students so this is over this is written over here if the number of negative integers is a in a product is even then the product is a positive integer if the number of negative integers in a product is odd then the product is negative integer all right students this is what we have discussed here all right students so this was all about the multiplication of integers okay so we have learned one two three basic things what are these things minus minus multiply is equals to plus plus multiply plus integer is equals to plus okay minus with plus multiplication is minus and plus into minus is equals to minus also if you are multiplying odd number of times the negative integer the answer will be having minus one sign okay and if you are taking the number of negative integers multiplication okay then the answer will be having a positive sign all right students so th this is this is what we have discussed till now all right students so let's discuss the further properties properties of multiplication all right and the properties of multiplication of integers so first part closure under multiplication what it is saying a multiply b will be the integer for all the integers a and b what it indicates it indicates that if a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 2 these two are the integers we all know this thing right if you are taking any two integers a also an integer b also an integer okay then their multiplication that is a into b which which is equal to 1 into 2 that is equals to 2 then the product will also be an integer this is what it is saying if a is an integer if b is an integer then their multiplication okay that is a multiply b is also an integer all right students so 
a multiply b is an integer for all the integers a and b all right if a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 2 okay whereas these both are the integers then their product their multiplication is also an integer this property is closure property all right students so next property commutativity of multiplication what is what is it it is like a multiply b is equals to b multiply a which means if i am taking 1 multiply 2 it is 2 right and if i am writing it as 2 multiply 1 it is also 2 so it doesn't matter in multiplication the order doesn't matter all right so this is the commutative property okay like for example we can have a look if a is equals to uh, if a is equals to 4 and b is equals to 3 and if I'm firstly I am taking as a multiply b 4 into 3 is equals to 12 okay and in this I am taking b into a which means 3 into 4 which is also equal to 12 okay so you can clearly see a into b and b into a is the same okay a into b and b into a is the same so it means that under multiplication there is commutativity okay in teachers can commute under multiplication all right students so let's move to the next part multiplication by zero this is very simple if any kind of number in teacher is multiplied with zero the answer will also be zero all right so if i'm taking a as 14 okay then a multiplies zero 14 multiplies zero is equals to zero right it doesn't matter if i'm taking a into zero okay i can also write it like zero into a commutative property so zero multiply 14 is also equal to zero so clearly a multiply zero is equals to zero multiply a is equals to zero okay so when you are multiplying any integer with zero it will give you zero okay so this is multiplication by zero okay next is multiplication by identity okay multiplicative identity okay it means that you are multiplying any integer with one one is the multiplicative identity because if you are multiplying anything with one the answer will be the integer itself okay for example if you are taking a is as 6 okay then a multiply 1 is equals to 6 multiply 1 which is equal to 6 all right and if I am taking 1 multiply a means 1 multiply 6 that is also equal to 6 all right so a multiply 1 is equals to 1 multiply a is equals to a okay any integer when it is multiplied with the 1 okay will give you that particular integer itself all right students so this will all about multiplicative identity okay so let's move towards the next thing next property which is associativity for multiplication okay it means the same commutativity in two particular things and in associativity the integers are associative okay they are making associations okay formations or groups all right so in this a multiply b multiply c in this you are making the association of a and b okay and then multiplying it with the c and in this you are taking a multiply b and multiply c and in this you are making group of b into c you have to multiply b into c first and then you have to multiply the product of b and c with a okay and the answer of both the things like this particular thing and this particular thing will be same how if i am taking a is equals to 1 b is equals to 2 and c is equals to 3 all right students so a into b into c first a is 1 b is 2 bracket into 3 what bracket indicates that i have to multiply this particular thing first right so 1 multiply 2 is equals to 2 2 multiply 3 is equals to 6 okay so the answer of this thing is 6 all right students so next I am taking a multiply b into c okay if a is 1 b is 2 and c is 3 2 into 3 is equals to 6 why I am firstly multiplying 2 and 3 because bracket is there okay 1 into 6 which is also equal to 6 so you can clearly see 
both the results are same so they are forming association under multiplications okay associativity of multiplication all right students next property distributive property what is distributive property it means that under multiplication integers can distribute the operations like this firstly if this is so students it means that firstly i'll multiply a with b okay then i will just put the sign that is in the bracket here and then multiply b into c this is distributive property all right students and in the next part if there is the negative sign in between okay the everything is same a multiply b right now the negative sign of the bracket and this thing a into c this thing is distributive property all right students so let's discuss it with the help of an example if i'm taking a as 1 b as 2 and c as 3 all right students so a is equals to 1 multiplied by 2 plus 3 in the first thing that is a multiply b plus c all right students firstly i am solving this 1 multiply 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 right 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 okay so 1 multiply 5 is equals to 5 you can clearly see the answer of this thing i have put the answer directly okay now i'll do the answer or the solution by this all right a multiply by b plus a multiply by c a is 1 okay a is 1 b is equals to 2 and c is equals to 3 now you can clearly see 1 plus 2 is equals 1 multiply 2 is equals to 2 plus 1 multiply 3 is equals to 3 which is equals to 5 okay so clearly this is equals to this so distributive property holds very nicely with multiplication all right students and the similar case with the negative okay in that this case if i'm taking a is as 4 b as 3 and c as 2 okay then a multiply b minus c Three minus two is equals to one. One multiplied by four is equals to four. All right, students. So now this thing. A multiply b minus a multiply c. Four multiplied by three minus four multiplied by two. Now, students, have a look here. Four multiplied three is equals to twelve. Minus four multiplied two is equals to eight. Twelve minus eight is equals to four. here is 4 and here is 4 so both the results are same so it means associativity and distributive property are very important property when you are doing the exercise also okay so this was all about the introductory portion of exercise number 1.3 students so we'll be doing the examples of 1.3 in the next class till then do practice at your home bye bye